Hi everybody, this is Mr. Matt from the Pike Road branch of the Montgomery City County Public Library System. And it is storybook time. Now we're in the month of October, so we'll be reading some not-so-spooky books this month. And our first is about things that glow in the dark. Do you have something in your room that glows in the dark? A toy or a sticker or a t-shirt? When I was little, I had a sticker and two toys. And one night I went to bed, and I looked over, and I saw the glow of the sticker, and it kind of scared me, but I realized it was the sticker, so that was okay. But when I looked at the toys, I got scared, because they were from a movie called Tron, and there were two discs on the toys that glowed in the dark. And when the two toys stood next to each other, do you know what the discs looked like? Yes, but like two glowing eyes. And I couldn't sleep with those glowing eyes looking at me. So I got out of bed and I had to put those toys in a drawer so I couldn't see them. So glow in the dark things kind of scared me when I was little because I had a really vivid imagination. And there's a glow in the dark thing in today's story, but it's not a toy, and it's not a sticker, and it's not a shirt. It is in fact a pair of underwear. In our story, Creepy Pair of Underwear, which was written by Aaron Reynolds and has pictures by Peter Brown and was published by Simon & Schuster Books. Now, this book, I believe, was a winner for the Pike Road Elementary's Book Madness one year. And as always, they are very nice and give me a copy of the winner of each year's competition. And here is the sticker that reads, In appreciation to Mr. Matt, for his continued support of reading to Pike Road School C1 learners, and they gave this to me in 2018. And you can see it's the creepy pair of underwear. So let's get started with this not so spooky book Creepy Pair of Underwear! Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But, as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear! So creepy! So comfy! They were glorious. Mom! Mom! Can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy! They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on? asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed the underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. He finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear! How did that happen? <laughs> Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything. 
he was done with scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the drawer and they were back! Staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps and addressed it to China. Bye bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were! And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and it had brought back souvenirs, including a fan and a plush panda. It was kind of nice, the creepy underwear, to bring souvenirs back, don't you think? I think so. Jasper grabbed Mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear was gone for good. He cut it all up. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Whew. There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went to the bathroom to comb his ears. What do you think is going to be there? Do you think, it's, do you think the creepy underwear is going to be there? Let's see. They were back! What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage, and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. You can see the underwear is still glowing through his backpack. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom. That ghoulish, greenish glow. But not for long. He filled in all that dirt back on top of the underwear. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. And with no light and no glowing underwear, what is it in his room? Just dark. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. You can see his eyes are really big because he's so scared. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. What do you think he's going to do? Yep, he's got his shovel and his helmet. 
he went back to the hill and dug up the creepy underwear. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle, not ghoulish, gentle, greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled. And so did his underwear, because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. And he went out and bought all a bunch of pairs of creepy underwear, and they all have different silly faces. They're smiling. This one has one tooth. This one has two teeth. And this one's blowing you a little kiss. So not too creepy at all. And that's the end of creepy pair of underwear. So it turned out that the underwear, I guess, just kind of needed a friend. If your underwear can need a friend, it goes from a frowny face to smiley faces. Who knew? Well, just remember, if you do have a toy or a sticker or a shirt that glows in the dark, and it's in your room, and you turn off your light at night, and you see it glowing, it's just a sticker or a toy or a shirt, and it's just giving you a little bit of light, like a little night light. So it's nothing to be scared of. But you can still enjoy a good, fun, spooky story like Creepy Pair of Underwear, written by Aaron Reynolds, drawn by Peter Brown, published by Simon Schuster Books. That does it for our first not-so-spooky story of October. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back again soon with another one. Thank you. Bye-bye.